Hey there, this is Lana's Enchanted Sky, your spiritual fairy godmother, bringing you for what you need to know for Sagittarius for July 2024. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, whatever I do. Also visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading, hypnosis, herbalism. I'm offering it all, Reiki. All right. Joke of the day. I can tell this joke because I've lost 70 pounds so far. So um, what do you call a pudgy tarot reader? A four-chinned teller. Think about it. All right. So it looks to me about a happy family, and it has to do with the King of Cups. So this is an it. This is a wise counsel, a little bit older guy who's wise, and it can also be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But there's a question about being happy happily ever after, and there is some meditation, but there is success in the home life and around it, okay? So so letting you know, you've been worried about this. This is something that you've been worried about and something was kind of hidden, kind of, but you're gonna, they're gonna be getting through with it and there is an offer. This is a spiritual growth thing too. So I'm gonna show you these cards in a minute, but there's a spiritual growth that has to do with this. And this is written. So there's gonna be a written communication somewhere going back and forth. It could be a, a, something in the snail mail. Could be e texting, it could be email, but there's something written, and it's all gonna have a new. There could be a new start. You're expecting that new emotional start, and you're trying to get away from this. You're trying to get the, the stress of all of it. Now there is an ending to everything, and here comes the money. So somebody is possibly in your life. They're getting a new offer. They're going back to work. They're doing something and you've been worried about it. It could be a little bit of finances that you've been worried about, but it's going to get much better this month. And yep, there's healing going on. There's healing going on because of it. So somebody may have been injured. They're going back to work. Um, there's something real significant about that King of Cups. Okay. And they are, this is a spiritual lesson for them also. So I'm going to show you these cards in a minute, but um, I just want to let you know that, you know, the way it's going is just a lot of mock battles, petty annoyances and crap you're going to have to get through to get to that. And there will be an ending. There's a finally a light before the, there's a, uh, an ending with the darkest before the dawn. It's coming. All right. This month. Okay. I want to say for a lot of you, the third week. Okay. Now, this has been something that you were very, very afraid of. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you the cards. The, it was hidden and you were, you, when you, I want you to understand this card. This card never manifests. What happens, it's useless worrying. So you've been useless, doing all this useless worrying for nothing because it's going to be okay. All right. Because this is the success card. Now this is stress, but this is success. It's just going to be work because there's still some downtime that has to happen. A little meditation time, but success is on its way. Okay, let me show you the cards. So as you can see, see, look at how you're going to be happily ever after. You got an opportunity. There's there's growth going on here. You know what I'm saying? There's this is spiritual. Things aren't working. It's going to end, but there's success on the horizon with a completion. So something's going to go your way, and something new is going to happen. It's a new get together with somebody. It's a new meeting. You're going to find somebody that's going to make you happy, and there's an offer. It's going to be written. I want you to think that. And, and it's from the past. Something was hidden in the past. And you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And you were worried about it. Here it came towards the end of the month. Okay? So that you understand. So my advice to you is it might seem at the beginning of the month you're a little worried. It's going to get better. And there will be the happy labor after. All right? Let me pull the other deck for you. I'm glad. I'm a Sag too. All right. All right, the angels of the universe, that was just that ending that I said, okay? And show gratitude because you're gonna be very grateful for what's gonna happen, okay, this month. Stay positive, it's gonna be real positive. It's, it's going in your direction and stay balanced. Don't get, don't get worked up, try to, it, I know it's so hard, I know it's so hard. Um, send in your archangels, 
they they work and I, I'm, I'm inviting you to. You can see them on some of my tapes and on my lives when I've invoked them. It works, okay? Blessings to you. Make it a great month and how can you make the planet a better place?